for many, yard sale season is here. Yeah, for some of you it's not, but it's going to happen. And when you get out there and start buying stuff, you're going to want to have some idea or some formula to use when you're buying items. And I'm going to talk to you about mine on the other side. So without any further ado, let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is John from Flippin' Ain't Easy. And today I wanna to talk to you about what I consider when I'm going to do yard sales. And uh, yard sales, I've discovered over the last year, is a great way to source and a great opportunity, if you're doing it right, to keep your costs low. And that is how you win at this game. So the lower you are into an item for, it gives you more room to work with when you need to bring down prices, maybe do markdown sales, maybe add a coupon, that type of thing, or when you're making offers. You know, you're sitting on an item, you bought at a yard sale for two bucks, you know, and you're trying to sell it for 20. Well, you got a lot of room to work with if you just, let's say you're, you're on the, that item for two months and it's time to get rid of it. Well, maybe you can blow it out for 10, right? Maybe, you know, and I'm, I, and I'm assuming you're charging shipping additionally on top of this, right? But um, you know that same person who buys that item for five isn't gonna have as much room. So that's why it's very important for you to have that focus. It's when you're out at yard sales, and this is the mindset you gotta have, guys. When you're out at yard sales, you're working, okay? Yeah, have fun with it, have fun with it. But you need to think of it as this is part of your job and this is work time, okay? So you need to maximize your time, number one. Um, and number two, you really need to maximize the amount of items you're buying for, let's say you have a $200 budget, whatever that budget is. You need to get as much stuff and not just random stuff, good stuff. And so that's why you need to use your phone. Now I'd show you my phone, but I'm using it to record this video. Um, I think all successful resellers who are out doing yard sales need to have their phone at the ready with the eBay app. Also download the Google app. And the reason why I said to download the Google app is there's gonna be times you're gonna come across an item that may, you know, if you're an everything seller like me, that might be interesting. Let's say there's a brand new item or there's an item that's out for display and you're not quite sure what it is. Maybe the model number or the markings aren't quite clear. Um, you can utilize the Google app to take a photo of it and it'll go through and try to match that item with what it has in its database and give you you know a list of things that it could be and then you can then ah okay this is a you know a nike whatever and then just copy and paste that into ebay to find some uh, some comps but if you know what the item is you simply go into your ebay app and go into the search now i have mine locked to go in and to locate all the solds already so I don't have to go and select that every time and you just you know type in what it is and uh, you know what you find out what it's selling for now I think a lot of us are hopeful when we're looking at sold comps we're hopeful oh wow this thing sold for a hundred bucks but maybe it only sold for a hundred bucks once maybe it sold for 70 most of the time but then we go in and think okay I'm gonna base my buying price on this hundred dollars because I'm hopeful to get a hundred bucks but that's the wrong way to go about it too. I wanna to temper my expectations. Um, maybe I'll go with anywhere between the low and I'll find a happy medium between a lot of, maybe it's sold a couple times at a high price, a few times at a low price. I'm looking at maybe somewhere in the middle, if that makes sense. So what is your formula, John? My formula is simply this. I wanna make 5X my money. Now, of course, I'm not considering eBay fees or anything like that. I'm just simply on the surface wanting to do at least 5X my money. So if I'm buying that item for two bucks, I better be making at least $10 plus shipping on top, okay? Because I don't really do free shipping. I do have listings that do have free shipping, but it's one of those things where I'm kind of calculating that in when I'm figuring it out. And I did make a buy over this last weekend um, I bought these uh, strips, these light strips. They're brand new in the pack. Guy wanted 15 bucks each. I mean, they're going for 20 on eBay. Free shipping, by the way, is what they were going for. 
I picked him up. I, well, I, first of all, I said, what do you want for all of them? He had like 10 of them, and he said 40 bucks, which meant, meant uh, he came down from 15 a piece to 4 bucks a piece. Now, I didn't see any negotiation there because he did come down quite a bit, but I figured in that particular situation that 4 bucks a piece, um, I'm going to be able to make 3.5x my money, one listing, all brand new, um, not one of those things where it's a used item, it's subjective. You know, a lot of times you buy a used item, uh, you think it's fine, you send it to a customer, they have a problem with it. New is new. So in this particular case, I was willing to kind of um, settle, I guess you'd say, for three and a half, three times my, my profit because it involved one listing, 10 items, uh, quick listing because it's brand new, no testing involved or anything like that. So I settled for that, and that's fine. I mean, it's it's just a little filler purchase. It goes in my store, and uh, but for the most part, you know, I'm looking to say, okay, if the guy wants ten bucks for an item at a yard sale, when I pull the comps up, I, I should be able to get fifty plus shipping. Um, now here's what, because I'm an everything seller, I come across new items. I don't know um, a lot about everything. If you're a niche seller that's probably the best place to be if you can do it but it doesn't mean you can't make money selling everything it just makes it a little bit more difficult so when I'm looking up an item maybe I don't know what it is but I'm intrigued by it maybe it looks like something that could possibly have some promise and then uh, I find the item um, for me uh, I want to make sure like I said I can get 5x my money plus shipping but I'm also looking at how often did that item sell over the last 90 days? Because when you're looking at a, uh, an eBay uh, search for uh, sold comps, it's gonna show you the last 90 days that item sold. And those listings will have dates. So did they all sell in January? Or have they sold kind of consistently over that time? This is all data that you can see and you should be paying attention to. Um, also, on the flip side of the coin, go to the actual listed comps and uh, say, hey, um, how many people are actually listing this? What's my competition look like? Uh, is there a hundred other people trying to sell this item and it's only sold a dozen times over the last 90 days? That may not be the best place to put your money, okay? So you gotta consider these things, your competition and how often the item is sold for. And you wanna find that, like I said earlier, the median price. So if it's sold a bunch of times for a hundred bucks, but it's sold, you know, um, maybe more frequently for 60, Maybe you want to think where your, your ballpark number is probably going to be like 70 or 80, okay, if we're just kind of being fair about it. And if you're into that item for 20 bucks, it's kind of a borderline purchase. I mean, you're buying it for 20, you could sell it maybe for 80, but there's been most of the solds have been for 60. If you're comfortable with making that 3x, because remember, you're, you're dealing with eBay fees that aren't even calculated in this. Your flip isn't going to really be 5x, even if you say, okay, I'm going to buy this item for 20, I know it's selling for 100. It's still not a true 5x, okay? Because eBay is going to take their 15 to 20 percent, depending on if you're, uh, you know, what you're promoting. I hope you're promoting because you should be in most cases. But uh, hopefully that gives you guys some ideas. I, I, I initially was going to come on here and try to give you a, a numerical formula um, because, like, my 40/40 model. I kind of tell you guys in the past, it'll work for anything. It'll certainly work for buying yard sales if you kind of adapt it but I didn't want to come out here and make you get out your calculator um, hopefully five is a good number you know whatever you're buying it for multiply that by five and that's what you should at least be making if you list it on eBay of course the more the better above 5x you should be jumping on that but again still consider the amount of solds that it sold in the last 90 days and consider your competition as well I was going to come out here and tell you like, you know, utilize like 16% is what I'm usually into with my 40-40 method in liquidation. But uh, again, not many of us, including myself, are math scholars. And I just want to make it simple. Make it simple for you when you're going to the yard sale and just trying to figure out, um, you know, what you should be into an item for. Um, you know, like if you're buying clothing, I would really want to have higher returns in 5X, just to give you an example. And the reason is, is because it's more saturated. You're gonna be 
having to find more room to bring the price down just to be competitive in a lot of these these items if you're in a real uh, uh, saturated market okay um, if you're in a market that isn't so saturated then you know maybe you're willing to pay up a little bit more right because maybe there's a lot of demand but not a whole lot of sellers it's kind of my 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 method that when I'm out and about when I'm buying uh, my individual liquidation pieces or when I'm buying yard sale um, I will shy away from something that really has a good you know 5 10 X opportunity because the, the souls just aren't there and I don't want to sit on items you know I come across like automobile parts right and maybe that one automobile part is sold once in the last 90 days but I can get a really good price for it I'm gonna consider things like storage how large is the item um, am I willing to sit and store this item for maybe 90 days or more trying to flip there's been many times that I've taken a two dollar item and turned it into a hundred bucks but how long are you willing to sit on that item before you just say this is a bad buy even at two bucks so you got to consider those things you know your your situation if I had a warehouse I'd be buying a lot more than what I buy right now but I have to consider my space so that I'm not bogged down with a lot of stuff that has potential to sell but just is going to be in my way and that's something that I think a lot of us overlook and then we get home or wherever we're storing our stuff and we're like okay now I've got a mess so these are things I want you to consider when you're at a yard sale it doesn't have to be that difficult just consider just remember 5x your price or the buying price of that item uh, consider the size of course consider your competition consider what sold in the last 90 days and uh, as long as you're willing to do the work and get it home and get it listed then hey go for it so I want to know what you guys think down below please put your comments down below what is your method uh, do you have an idea in your mind and this is part of having a plan by the way um, if you don't have a plan if you're just buying things just because it looks cute or because you think it's gonna sell and you're not using the phone use your phone guys it's gonna tell you what's happening right now in the market you may have a recollection of what the item sold for two years ago but the market could have changed so be sure to use your app and you know what people might look at you sideways like the seller at the yard sale but uh, it's not their business I said this before you know you don't have to explain yourself you're there um, you know people use their phone for many things um, it, for all they know you could be talking to your aunt Thelma or whoever that aunt is uh, if she likes the item right but it's really not their business I mean you can mention it to them but I think sometimes we get handicapped when we give out too, too much information because some people have that mentality where they just don't want to give you a deal because they know you're gonna make money off of their dime and uh, that doesn't sit well with some people so do me a favor if you like the video hit the like button of course we make these videos and go live every week uh, if you like this content subscribe to the channel and of course uh, hit that notification bell so you know when I do send my notifications out when I'm making a, a video or going live that way you're notified when it happens just wanted to tell you guys about an exciting sponsor that we've taken on on the channel we're working with American bubble boy and when you get all this yard sale stuff home you're gonna want to be able to pack it up now we've been using American bubble boy for over a year and this is a product we like we endorse we've told you about before before they even contacted us and I just want you guys to to know that you can go to buy bubble wrap anywhere Walmart Home Depot maybe um, Office Depot you're gonna be spending a lot more and this is pretty good stuff as you can see here um, we like three different types of bubble wrap but that's just what we do but if you're selling maybe for the first time or maybe you want to find a more affordable way to buy bubble wrap check out the link down below it helps the channel and certainly by saving a few bucks it's gonna help you as well with your business so again American bubble boy check the link down below thank you for supporting this channel so guys simplifying the process so simplifying the process at yard sales so that you can win at sourcing is yet another example of how flipping ain't easy and I want you guys to have an excellent start to your week or whenever you're watching this and we will talk to you very soon